guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be posting a workout video I was thinking about this earlier and then I checked my content and I realized it's been six months since I've posted any workout content and that was actually the reason why I started this channel years and years and years ago um, and obviously I've just kind of gotten away from that um, focusing a lot more on motherhood and lifestyle and that kind of thing but Fitness is still a big part of my life, or I try to make it a big part of my life. As a full-time working mom, really hard to have balance, really hard to make the time, really hard to find the motivation. Um, actually today in particular, I'm on vacation this week, and it's like middle of the day, and I just do not want to work out. I really don't. So this is going to like help me stay focused today for this workout um really just kind of wanted to take it easy but also want to kind of keep working towards my goals so as far as my workout routine as of late it's really just doing the best i can so um i would say on average it's probably three days a week ish um, sometimes more, sometimes less, just really depends on my week. I do work in retail, as you probably already know, and just because of that, my schedule is very random, very chaotic, um, and then you throw a toddler into the mix and all of the other jobs that I do on the side, and you have a hot mess. So, um, ish three days a week I obviously focus heavily on legs and glutes but I do also work on upper body so ideally ideally in a week I would get four workouts in um, two lower body days and then two upper body days um, typically what I've been doing with my upper body days is I will do a back and a chest workout together and then I will do a shoulders and arms workout together and then just do legs and then which case I just focus on my glutes mostly so um, that's kind of been what I've been doing as of late but my goals are always changing um, how I want to look is always changing unfortunately I'm never like consistent enough to really hit it hard so I kind of always just go back to ish two days a week legs and ish two days a week upper body but you know it doesn't always happen and that's okay so um anyway i'm thinking i'm gonna do a lower body day today um i just did i think i did shoulders and arms on sunday i think that sounds right it's tuesday um so we'll give my upper body a little bit of a break. I'm feeling like super duper tight up through here. Massive headache going on per usual. Um, so we'll do lower body. Um, I am currently drinking some pre-workout because Bomar Nutrition is like legit the best. And I always feel not only like a good pump and a good energy during my workout, but this also carries me through the rest of the day. And I'm hoping, really hoping that I will drink this, do my workout, and then really be motivated to come in here and clean the house. So we'll see. Um, but this is the Rainbow Candy Stimulant Free um, Pre-Workout from Bomar Nutrition. Uh, I pretty much only use Bomar Nutrition products. I trust them. They actually post certificate of analysis of their products online for the consumers to see. That is very rare in the supplement industry, which is not regulated by the FDA. So um, a lot of supplement companies will put like sawdust in their pre-workout as like a filler. Um, so I just trust Bomar Nutrition. They're very open and honest and they show, you know, they personally take their products. Um, they have small children, their little toddler. She's so cute. Um, she drinks their greens and just makes me feel good, you know? Um, so here is the can that I'm using. And then this is what it looks like. It's pretty good. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend all of their products. Um, let me grab one thing real quick. 
Okay. If you don't use any supplements whatsoever and you want to start somewhere, Bomar Nutrition, Collagen Peptides, this is, this is what you need, okay? Um, I get comments, I mean, I'm a hot mess today. That's just very obvious. Um, I often get comments on my lashes and on my hair. Um, this collagen is why I have long lashes and healthy hair. Um, I do not take very good care of my hair, okay? Like I'm, I'm a little lazy sometimes. Um, I brushed it today, so that was good. Um, but this, seriously, so what you get here, uh, 20 grams of collagen, 18 grams of protein. This is going to help with your hair, skin, nail health, as well as your joint health. Um, we actually have this set up on auto ship, so it comes once a month, and this little guy is almost gone. So um, I really do try to take this supplement every day if I can. I definitely do miss a day here and there. It just kind of is one of those things. I do not have a routine at work, so it makes it very hard for me to have routines at home. But that is one of the things I'm like decently good at is taking my collagen. So would highly, highly, highly recommend that. So without further ado, I'm gonna drink the rest of my pre-workout and then I will see you in the gym in just a few minutes. Okay, so of course we have to start any workout with a warm-up. You can do whatever warm-up you prefer. Typically, I do a walk-jog on the treadmill and then I do a couple of exercises to kind of warm up my hips. But today, I really wasn't feeling the treadmill, so I opted to do some ballet movements instead. Um, fun fact, I took ballet in college for a semester. It was a really great time. I learned a lot of things. It's been a while, so I'm pretty rusty, but all of these movements felt really good and definitely got my hips nice and warm. So I just did um, 10 reps on each of these movements that you are seeing, but again, totally up to you as far as what you want to do to warm up. This felt so good. My hips felt nice and warm after this. My glutes were fired up and ready to go. Uh, I, again, I don't typically do this kind of a warm up, but felt really good. So um, if you're interested, I really just did um, front, side, back on each leg and then kind of doing like around the worlds. Don't know what they're called anymore, but um, it was pretty efficient. So now we're going to be moving on to the workout. Um, I'm starting off with one of my favorite glute exercises, a cable pull through. So all of the exercises I'm going to be doing today, I'm doing three sets of 10 and they are all super sets. So um, I'm a mom, I'm a working mom. I do a lot of part-time jobs on the side as well. So it's really important for me to be efficient with my time and I feel like supersets give you the best of both worlds. If you're really trying to add mass, supersets probably aren't going to be the way to go, but I'm just trying to live a healthy lifestyle so they work great for me. When you are doing any glute exercise, you really want to press down through your heels to engage your glutes. Here I'm doing another um, cable exercise, just a little bit of a variation here. Um, we bought this cable attachment, this pulley system on Amazon for like 60 bucks, and it came with all of these different attachments. So if you have a home gym and you don't have a lot of equipment, this is a super in an inexpensive um, piece of equipment that is super, super versatile. Um, so highly recommend that. I will leave it linked in the video description. Okay, so once I've done those two exercises as a superset, I am doing some banded uh, box squats, really firing up those glutes. Again, 10 reps, press down through your heels, exhale on the way up. I have not been doing a lot of like heavy weighted squats because it tends to add a lot of muscle mass to my midsection and I'm, I want like a really small waist or at least the effect of a small waist. Um, 
I am pairing that with an RDL, a Romanian deadlift, whatever you want to call it, straight leg deadlift. Again, pressing through those heels. You don't want to squeeze too much at the top because that kind of engages your back a little bit more. Deadlifts are some of my favorite exercises um, for the hamstrings and the glutes. Next, I'm going to be doing a good morning. This exercise is slept on. I don't see a lot of people doing this. I don't know why. Um, this is gonna hit your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back. And this bar is 45 pounds, so you have to be able to lift it up to get it on your back, which in itself is kind of a, a workout. Um, so again, just doing 10 reps, making sure you're breathing, focusing on your core, trying to engage those glutes. Um, we don't want to phone it in here. We really want to focus on our breathing, focus on that mind to muscle connection. I'm pairing that exercise with a wide leg or a sumo deadlift variation, more of like an RDL. Um, any deadlift is a good deadlift, right? So I do a lot of different variations of deadlifts. Uh, I just feel like they are the biggest bang for your buck. They work so many different muscle groups and you should definitely incorporate them into every leg day workout. Okay guys, so that is the workout for today. Wasn't super long. My workouts these days are not super long. Um, typically around 45-ish minutes because I have a full-time job, a toddler, a dog, several part-time jobs on the side. So I'm busy and I don't have time to spend two hours in the gym and you don't need to spend two hours in the gym every day unless you're prepping for like a competition or something. So anyway i feel good i'm like obviously nice and sweaty and gross i need to go take a shower because we're gonna go out to dinner with my brother and his uh, wife so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this was helpful if it was if you enjoy my fitness related content give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button let me know that this is the kind of stuff that you enjoy and i will make more videos for you but I will see you in the next one and have a good day.